Christmas. So close and yet so far. We are so close to the actual Victoria Falls. But, but we are not going to be able to go now. We have to wait until there. Okay. of the population and the Ndebele people which is about 14 percent one four the remaining percentage is made up of different uh, ethnicities but the two major tribes are Ndebele and Shona so the people that you just saw they are Ndebele people and that's what they do for a living every day they are there waiting for tourists singing for them dressed in that Debele tribal regalia that you just saw. So, Gaui, Debele. But then, of course, they go and change the blue jeans, right? See? <laughs> then they go and change the blue jeans and t shirts, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, later when they're going back home. My first name is Tikamai, which means be calm, relax. Depending in which context you use it, it could also mean behave. <laughs> so when you make noise and I say Tikama, it means behave. Okay. You know? So I'm the only boy in a family of six. I'm the fourth boy. And you got to understand that in Africa it's kind of a disgrace if you do not have a male child. So people were beginning to talk too much. But then when I came along, my father named me Tikama as an instruction to the people around him to say, calm down, my boy is here. Aww. And then my mother named me Blessing. Because she thought I was a blessing. She was a blessing. Well, I hope you think the same too after this tour is done. <laughs> <laughs> and Zimbabwe means a great house of stone. As we shall find out when we speak about the history of Zimbabwe, slippers, etc., etc. Actually, they used to do some logging in Chobe National Park. 
way before 1976 when it was established as a national park. So it's hardwood and people are not allowed to cut it down. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it also resistant to insects? Yes. So it's it's part of what we call the hardwood. Even though we have what we call the iron wood. So iron wood is an umbrella term for all the termite proof woods that you will see around here. Like most of your corporate up trees. They shouldn't think it. Because Zimbabwe yeah. used to be called plantation before. Any other question? Everybody happy? And taking out the copper water pipes really? from the home, yeah. the abandoned homes, to sell it. They do that in California. They would make more out of that.
just went through the second uh, Zimbabwe Botswana border and we had to cleanse our shoes to prevent COVID mouth disease. <laughs> they kind okay. of got dirt here uh, <laughs> because it was so muddy. Do we have our belongings with us? Yes, we do. Finding everybody here they had their passport home as, as we drive. We are alone who or one of the teenagers that has just been kicked out of the breeding herd. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna find his own women. The mother doesn't want him to eat bread. Oh, that's why they're they very smart on it. He's a red. That is an elephant. My God. I see a sacred ibis, the black and white bird. Cato egret. And your impala. So, what you going to for? With so many things in one picture, what do you call that? That's the point where we're going to cross wow. from Botswana into Zambia. There's no bridge there. Oh, it's okay. under construction. It's been under construction for years. Have we going to have to wait? Uh, no. Oh, yes. So money talks around here. Uh, Welcoming comedy. Oh, I was wondering where oh, they were. That's your breeding herd, ladies and gentlemen. With babies. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, African elephant. Oh my goodness. Do you know the difference between the African elephants and the Asians? Size of ears. and the size of ears one. Size of the other one. Size of the other two. And the trunk has a finger sight. Uh -huh. the top of the head. That's that's the major difference. The African elephants have got two lips at the end of the trunk. Yeah. The Asian ones only has one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Not really, but yeah. in some places. Glory. So when the bus is moving, I'm gonna ask you to sit down. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Oh, In some places, yeah. they conduct the oh, elephant oh, like safari. <laughs> yeah. I talk about the small five, right? And, and I explain about the ant lion. If you look into the ground, you will see little holes in the ground. Those are dug by your ant lion. So if an insect drops in there, it then closes its pincers. That's its hunting mechanism. Your second one is your leopard tortoise. Leopard tortoise. That's the second one. If you're on safari and you see that one, you, you have to be careful. You, you better start with tortoise first before you say leopard. Because if you say there's a leopard, by the time you say tortoise, people are so excited. You know? So it's it's leopard tortoise. That's the second one. Uh, they get very, very huge. Yeah, so you can get a smaller one like this or even a bigger one that a human can even sit on top of it. They get very old, over a hundred years. Yeah. And then uh, you have your a bird called the buffalo weaver. They make communal nests. Red built buffalo weavers. The third one is your rhinoceros beetle. That's the fourth one. And then the fourth one, which animal did we live out? Is the elephant shrew. Mm -hmm. Mouse looking like thing with an elongated snout. Hmm. That's your small five. Okay. And then we, so these are the houses I was talking about. For the people that are building, that are working on the bridge. Our next class. Uh, we have the buffalo thorn, which is a tree. We have the leopard orchid. You see that in Zambia. An orchid. And then, uh, what else did we leave? Which other animal did we leave? A buffalo. A 
buffalo thorn is a tree. Buffalo. And then the rest are either plants or grasses that carry the names of the big or small grasses. We are given. The marabou stock, the bird we saw there on the dumping side, is one of them. <laughs> if you look at the bird, it's got seemingly it's got white legs. But actually, its legs are black. But what makes them look white is because they defecate on their legs. Oh. They yeah. pee on their legs. There's a cooling mechanism. Oh, okay. So no that's why their legs look white. We have the warthog. I was going to say warthog. Or some people say it's so ugly, it's cute. <laughs> so it depends on what you think is ugly. You have the good beast, the spotted hyena, and your lapid first voucher. Anything else you think is ugly, you can put it in that class. Very controversial. I think you covered it. <laughs> Very cool. So we are about 50 kilometers, what's that in miles? Away from where we're going. We are entering the Chobi National Park. Actually, that's Zimbabwe's national animal. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at the hog. We haven't seen those. Huh? No sables. Those horns are dangerous. You don't want to be caught in those horns. They're like, they run like horses. Wow. Yeah, they do. The, the pale ones are the females, and the darker ones, the peach black ones, are the males. So we no longer have those ones in huge numbers. The reason being, back in the day, the kings and chiefs would kill them for their courts, you know, as part of their regalia. Mm. So we don't have as many. Some of you are probably wondering why all this burning. This is part of controlled burning that we do each year to encourage new growth. You see this little green grass is coming up. So the burning encourages new growth. Now seeing Sebo like this is a six star sighting. It's a what? Six star. Six star, six star sighting because they are not really? common. Really? They are. Yeah, wow. they are not common. Remember yeah, what I said? They are rare because they killed them a lot for their skins. Yeah. So you're, you're doing very well so far. Yeah. <laughs> seeing these guys is similar to seeing a honey badger. Oh, your wild dog. Oh my gosh. African painted yeah, dog. Beautiful. Because they are almost in danger. Yeah. 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 Yes, they do. They do. Even in Zimbabwe, we have what we call uh, in Zimbabwe. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Also, the boat. Take the tasks. The tasks will be taken by the government. But maybe it was some disease. So they don't want any predators feeding on him. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Oh my god. This is oh, yeah. Well, the walk can be an hour. Yeah, somewhere there. The camp you see on the other side is Baobab 2. On the other side. This is great. Now, would, if we're going to a place where they're going to show us basket weaving, are they going to. Tomorrow. They start from 5, mm -hmm. 10, 15, 20.
That tree down there, how big that huge that trunk is, and then it gets really tiny. Yep. What's he calling that? A bo-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba? Something like that. What? Where's the tree, Joe? Right there. Behind you more, honey. Kind of looks like Oh, yeah. An elephant Oh my god, I can stay here all day. We have a question about the beverages. How does it work for um, having a beverage at, with dinner, ordering it here? How do we? Thank what? you for that question. Three. <coughs> we do have a 
small bar here. Anything that you take behind the bar while it's in camp, not out in activity, it's going to be tied to your roots. Out in the activity, you are entitled to have one drink, one glass of wine, red and white. That's complimentary out in the activity. But if you want to have gin, it's going to be charged. Okay. Whiskey, it's going to be charged. Okay. And then we have bottles of wine, $13 per bottle. <coughs> Any question, anything? We don't charge water, it's free to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anything else? How much is the beer? Like it's $3? $3? Okay. And then, so that we don't have So there's not complimentary wine. Uh, there's nothing there. No, no complimentary wine. This is looking back. Yeah, they need to. You know what? One thing interesting. You know what? One thing interesting. Two lessons said lots of, lots of crocodiles and hippos in here. Yeah, in safari like this. They don't go out. They're always. Look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. We have to move down to go to the room. So I tired or something like that. I would love to see the sunset or maybe tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Look at these beautiful, beautiful rooms that we have. I should have taken from down below. Look, <laughs> this is how you come up. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> Look at that. Perfect. And what's your name? Ski. Ski. Ski is my That's name. Right. <laughs> Ski's mother's name is Nancy. Yes. So <laughs> she's taking pity on me and she's helping me up. All the stuff. <laughs> she's taking pity on Oh, this is great. <laughs> yeah. By the door we have the key. Yeah. You must always lock the door when you're in or outside the room because of the naughty baboons. The naughty baboons? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they will come inside. Yes. <laughs> Be fun. <laughs> and then moving on here, it's our life. And this, and this, so this is, is the air horn for medic <laughs> no, no, medical no. emergency. <laughs> this is for medical emergency. Yes. And when you blow it, yes. everybody else has to not turn the light. Gin and tonic, not for the air <laughs> <laughs> You have to, when, when they blow it, when someone blows it, everybody else has to turn the lights off. And the person have... leaves the light on, so yes. this way they know where to go. Yes. See, they are organized. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Remember how I was saying I was going to miss the sunset? Nope. I can see it right from my porch. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, gosh. It looks closer. It looks more dramatic close up. <laughs> The colors come out. Awesome day. Even though it was a transfer day, it was really gorgeous. Just being here is amazing. Look at that, it's like a reverse sunset. <laughs> it went behind the clouds, now it's coming out the other side. <laughs> it's funny. And the real sunset is gonna be when it goes behind the horizon. <laughs> so beautiful, oh my God, it's so red. It's so red. It's orange red, like it's on fire. Wow. Beautiful.
Ang mga bali mga kadweso. Ang mga dagat hindi ka na rin. Look at this little guy. <laughs> He's very comfortable there. He's not moving. Maybe he wants some dinner. Can you? Can I bring you something? <laughs> bring you something? What's everyone doing? Good. Doing great. Mesh is my name. You can call me Mesh. In short, in full, you can call me Mesh Melo. <laughs> All right, I'm here to announce the menu for tonight. The starter evening, we are going to have cabbage soup. It will be served around the table. Uh, goes well with fresh bread rolls. Mm -hmm. There are two options of main course. The one which is vegetarian dish. Uh, chicken casserole, chickpeas vegetable samba, rice, served with a uh, zucchini and baby corn mm -hmm. uh, greek salad on the side the dessert we are going to have a uh, lemon cheesecake mm -hmm. it will be served around the table it will go well with tea and coffee thank you and enjoy your dinner thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.